How you guys doing? This is Spencer Clark. Uh, just wanted to give you guys a quick little uh, update on Table Rock Lake and the, and the fishing down here. Um, I was able to get out a couple days this weekend and, and fish uh, really hard uh, over the weekend for two days. And uh, Saturday, uh, ended up having a pretty good day. Um, spent some time around the Kimberling City area. Uh, had a pretty productive morning actually throwing an Alabama rig. Um, covered a lot of water with it. I found one little pocket, one little spawning pocket uh, that had a whole bunch of fish in it Saturday. Uh, ended up catching seven or eight fish and a couple keepers out of it pretty quick. And uh, you know, the water's about 46 degrees around that area and pulled in there, was just throwing uh, one of these Alabama rigs with a, uh, a couple uh, a couple little uh, pro blue, I think they call that color, swim baits on it. Uh, been using these uh, Berkeley Fusion jig heads in the eighth ounce size. I've uh, been catching quite a few fish down here on that. Um, the whole key has been finding water that's got a little bit of color to it. You don't want that real clear water, but you kind of want it to where, you know, that water's a little green. I seem to be doing better in those areas. Now in the areas where the water's clear, if I want to catch any fish, I, I seem to have to be around some kind of timber, um, whether, you know, it's cedar trees or, you know, off the end of some laydowns up on the bank uh, or even around boat docks. I got to have something there to hold those fish when the water's really clear. Um, so mainly I've been targeting water that's just a little Got a little hint of color in it. I think it helps with the bite. Um, but that's what I did Saturday. I spent some time in the morning around Kimberling City, caught a few nice fish, and then uh, actually went up and got out and fished the dam area um, Saturday afternoon and uh, decided to go throw a jig around a little bit. Actually ended up catching some really nice smallmouth uh, just on a peewee jig. Uh, I've been throwing, I think this is the 5 16 ounce size with uh, a little Strike King baby rage bug on there as a trailer. And I've been using this on just eight pound fluorocarbon, dragging some of those secondary points and just pea gravel banks. Caught some really good smallmouth Saturday doing that. Um, and I think that bite's gonna pick up more, you know, as, as the smallmouth move in the spawn and, and, you know, fish are gonna start coming to the bank here in a couple of weeks. Uh, I think that's really gonna get hot. Uh, I've been checking some of that out and I'm catching some fish actually doing that. Um, but, you know, went out fished around the dam area didn't want to sore mouth too many fish um sunday ended up fishing the cape fair uh buddy championship they have a winter series that goes out at cape fair marina up there in the james and we just finished up our, our winter series we had the championship on sunday didn't go as good as i wanted it to i uh, ended up getting eighth place in the tournament cashing a check uh, i was fishing by myself uh ended up weighing three fish for a little under 10 pounds uh i went down to those fish around kimberling um, that I, you know, I found Saturday and they were just gone. Uh, ran a bunch of different spots in the morning. Uh, ended up pulling one on an Alabama rig out of some cedar trees and about 20 foot of water going into a little pocket. Uh, and then I didn't have another bite for a long time. Ended, ended up having to actually go back up, uh, up the James and uh, ended up pulling three fish um, off one bank in the last like hour and a half. And I, and I really wish I would have been up there more uh, just with the conditions we we're having. So. You know, glad to get a check. Uh, you know, a lot of the guys that are fishing that, that series have been down here fishing their whole life. Uh, just started fishing down here in April, but uh, getting better, getting to figure out a little bit more what these fish do with different weather conditions. Um, so, you know, just got to do what you can do and go fishing and, you know, see what happens. But, uh, yeah, I ended up catching one fish on the old Alabama rig um, in the morning. And then actually ended up catching uh, my, my other two keepers in the tournament uh, throwing a crankbait. Actually, uh, for whatever reason, the Alabama rig bite was off for me on Sunday, and I ended up having to go to the bank in the afternoon and catch a couple fish on a crankbait, which, you know, that's something I, I really like to do is throw a crankbait. So uh, I just wish I would have got on that bite sooner. Um, that's one of the things about the fish down here at Table Rock. They really move around a lot. Uh, you got to cover a lot of water sometimes to stay on them. And uh, it's a little bit tough sometimes when you're fishing by yourself just because you can only, you know, throw one bait at a time. But Pretty much like uh, we got some mud that's coming down the James River. Uh, you get up there, um, you know, by Woolly, Piney Creek and all that up there. Uh, the water's got some color in it, but you go much further up to like Cape Ferry Marina and it's like chocolate milk up there. Uh, hadn't spent much time up, you know, past Cape Ferry Marina, uh, but I bet in the next week or so, you're gonna be able to catch some fish on a spinnerbait up there. But uh, pretty much, you know, I think the water temperature is about the same all the way across the lake. I've been fishing from like the James all the way down to like uh, the dam area, like Indian Point area. It's about 44, 45. And uh, we just got some rain uh, this morning. Uh, 
wasn't really wasn't really like a warm rain just kind of a cool rain uh the temperature is supposed to drop this week and then come back up over the weekend uh, so i think that's going to kind of move some of those fish back out a little bit um, i think there's a lot of them like i said really trying to get up there and start looking uh looking hard at those areas where they want to move into in the next couple of weeks but uh once we get through this week i think the fishing is going to get a lot better it's been getting better every day with the longer days the longer sunshine um this fall we really haven't had a whole lot of cloud cover so i think with all the sun we've had i think it's going to be an early spring um but i'll try to give you guys an update try to get out a little bit this week and keep you guys uh informed on what i'm catching the fish on and uh Make sure uh, I got I got some shirts. I just came out with uh, some first edition shirts for Breaking Bass. That's a new apparel company I'm trying to get going. Uh, got some new shirts down at uh, Extreme Outdoors. Uh, just dropped off a bunch of stuff down there. Uh, stop in if you're in the area, Kimberling City area, Branson West. Uh, appreciate all the support on that. And then uh, also up to James, uh, that catch and, catch and all tackle um, up there. They're also carrying some of my t-shirts. Uh, if you guys get up there, check out that shop. Uh, next couple of weeks, going to be trying to fish Joe Bass down here. And then I got the BFL up at Lake of the Ozarks. So got a busy couple of weeks. But uh, until next time, guys, good fishing, and we'll see you on the water.